this is uh, another really important one. So in the digital world, right, people think that obviously what's in my resume versus what's on my LinkedIn profile and those sorts of things can be different. They can't. They need to be, they need to align. It's amazing I've had hiring managers say, geez, I looked at so-and-so's profile on LinkedIn, I almost think, why the hell did I let them go? Because they're, they're brilliant because they've changed their profile and those sorts of things, right? Remember guys, and there's been plenty of people, the ex-CEO of Yahoo, uh, there's been a number that will get found out, right? And it will. And there's nothing worse in your mind and subconscious if you know that you picked up a job because you fudged something, right? You have to live with that for the rest of your life. So the easy answer is basically is just don't. Play with a straight bat, work your butt off, be that A player, invest in yourself and those sorts of things as well and you'll get tapped on the shoulder. I reckon one of the best days that you guys will ever have in your life is when you get a call from a headhunter and someone says to you, hey John, I heard about you, this is who I am, someone's told me, can you come and have a chat to me? I'd like to see, how I might have something that could be of interest to you. And you go, wow, thanks very much. They'll only do that if you're trustworthy. Right. Moving on guys, so coming to the end, here are some career resources and tools that we add, um, that we, well not advertise I shouldn't say, uh, but here are some things that you can have a look at. So HBR or Harvard Business Review, as students and others and certainly through the universities you'll have a trove of information on, uh, on things. Um, Mind Tools and MindTools.com is awesome, right? So I give this to all my staff, right? Um, there's a heap of information on there from ebook summaries, videos, you name it, and there's a whole heap of workbooks that you can do on career planning, life planning. You can do some research on emotional intelligence. You can understand what active listening is all about. You name it. Project management, it's all up there. Um, what color is your parachute? Is the other one that I put up there? It's an old classic book about you know, job searching and employment. You'll get tips on resumes, etc. And finally, something a bit different. Um, Malcolm Gladwell's a bit out there in terms of employment, uh, and particularly the book Outliers. And you can one of the beautiful things is an ebook summary on it. Have a quick have a quick skim read and those sorts of things as well. And that'll probably that'll hopefully some of the things that he's talking that he talks about in there will resonate with some of the stuff I've spoken about tonight. Then finally, as I say, for the uh, for the bonus points, I'll send this information to George. Right? There's a heap of information that's out there on what's happening in the market, employment trends, and those sorts of things. I think probably only one that you'll probably want to know about. Um, a lot more of you probably read the ACS, um, the Digital Pulse one, um, but Seek has plenty of data on what have you too. And probably the main one you want to get to know is that essentially the whole industry is an, as the industry as a whole is growing. Right, digitisation is having a massive impact on the on uh, on the world. Australia current GDP, I think, is five point something percent, and that's uh, of, of technology. That's going to grow to eight or nine percent or whatever over the next uh, four or five years. So it's going to go uh, at a very very quick rate. The Crossroads Report, which um, sort of the National knows about too, that's not bad to have a look at as well. That talks about again technology disruption, um, some of those industry trends that I was talking about before. We publish a, a quarterly report that talks about trends, average salaries and those sorts of things as well too. So if you want to, there's different bits and pieces of information here. Again, what it will, what it will help you do is to understand what industries are likely to be growing and then it's up to you obviously within that to have a look at some of the organisations that work within those sectors uh, that are growing on heavy too. So as a quick example, you know, one was a company called Wellard that floated on the stock exchange just recently. Um, they do cattle and live, live produce and exports and those sorts of things. CBH or copper bulk handling, they're another one that's, um, that's growing at a, at a great rate of knots. Um, education, you know, everyone's probably heard of Navitas and a few others, you know, they're moving along at, at a great rate of knots. They're all different businesses and there's a number of them like them that are not BHP, Rio, Woodside, FMG, Inpex, etc., which basically just get, you know, blasted all the time. So don't think about there's a, there's a whole raft of other organisations and other businesses that you can look at from employment. Thank you.